What's up, people from YouTube? All right, guys, check it out real quick. I got a little restoration I want you guys to check out. Uh, it's basically me removing paint from the gel coat of uh, a fiberglass boat. So if you guys are having the issue and want to consider doing this, uh, here's the procedure that I use. Take a look at it. The video's kind of long. Um, I try to keep it as entertaining as possible, but it is what it is. You'll definitely see some cool results. So stay tuned and check it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to see if this stuff comes off. All this 1980s stuff on this fountain uh, comes off because obviously it's disgusting and it's tacky and it's so Don Johnson and Miami Vice. And we're going to try to see if we can remove this without damaging the gel coat under because the paint job for this is way more expensive than trying to remove this and just working the gel coat. So let's see if we can save some money. Um, I don't know. I'm going to be doing tests. So let me show you the chemicals that I'm going to be using. And while I use them, I use, I'm going to use a test uh, dummy boat gel coat old boat that I'm going to do some samples on before I even try anything here because obviously I don't want to mess up this boat. All right, especially the gel coat. Let's see what we can do and watch the video guys let's see what happens i know just as much as you all right guys so here's two products that i'm going to try out on this old novarania hall i'm not using this hall i'm i'm actually using this hall as an experiment for for a lot of things that you know i need to test out um it's a mx hall so i'm gonna use some acetone what I'm trying to do is, there's, I'm having an issue with a boat that I'm working on. And what I'm trying to figure out is if any of these two products will take off some paint without removing the gel coat, okay? Um, obviously, everybody has their own opinion and stuff like that. This is a situation where I don't want to fail. That's why I'm going to go ahead and try stuff on this first. All right, so I just put a little bit some here on the side of the of the boat all right it's, it's dripping down right here um, I'm gonna let it sit for five minutes see what happens uh, and then that's that's the actual fiberglass paint remover from Jasco so I don't know it should be interesting all right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of acetone just right there. Just wanna let it sit without doing anything to see what it does to the gel coat. I'm not even gonna wipe it down or nothing. I'm just gonna let it dissolve there, see what happens, see if it messes up the finish of the, of the gel coat, all right? Let's go back to the other section to see how that paint remover is working on the gel coat. All right, so this is what it looks like in about, in about three minutes so far of, of it being on there so it, I don't know I haven't seen anything bubbling up you guys keep in mind this is the Jasco fiberglass paint remover it takes 15 minutes so we got another 10 minutes let's see what happens in 10 minutes I got this little wire brush uh, from HDX it's it's a Home Depot product let's, let's see what it does I'm just, I want to see what it does to the gel coat. Well, it doesn't look too bad. You guys will see why I'm doing all this test first, shortly. Because we got a big issue, big issue we're trying to correct without spending thousands and thousands of dollars. So this might be hundreds of dollars as opposed to thousands and thousands and thousands. Remember, this is my test dummy. It's an MX Novorania haul. No, don't ask for it, people. I'm not giving it away. I'm, I'd rather throw this away. I'd rather throw it away. Because I'm using it as my test dummy. All right. 15 minutes are up. 15 minutes are up. We're gonna use a light, just like a, well, an 80 grit, but I wanna see if this thing is hurting the gel coat at all. Guys, 
I know, I know, I should have gloves on. Huh? I really should. But I'm doing everything possible so it doesn't hit my fingers. I'll put some gloves on now when I do the main job. Right now what I'm doing is I'm just testing this area to see how aggressive this stuff is on the gel coat. What I want to find out is what it does to the gel coat. I don't care what it does to the paint. I want the paint to go from what I'm trying to do. But it's been here 15 minutes, like it says there, 15 minutes, okay? And I want to see what it does. All right. This is what I want to see. And I got an 80 grit right now that I'm doing with. All right. Now let's get this wet rag, see what happens. Obviously, it's gonna clean it. I don't. I know that. All right. All right. So I feel much better now. I'm gonna rinse this off. Also, I'll rinse it off. Okay. Um, look. If you guys want something that'll clean up, you know, easy. There you go. You see, every day you learn something new. When you watch this channel, you learn something new. Oh, my fingers are burning! No, I'm just kidding, people. Relax. Just got to get your attention. You guys are over 60. Oh, well, I got a little heat gun. My other one went out. It went kaput. So, all right. So, I'm pretty comfortable saying that I can apply this fiberglass paint remover to gel coat. All right? Not, not for a long time. I mean, I don't, I'm only doing this for about 15 minutes is what it says. So let's see what it does. I'm going to rinse this out now so there's no residue on there because I don't want it to do anything else. And let's see what happens then. I put a little bit still on here, okay? There's some of that remover. This is what I'm trying to kill, guys. This, this Don Johnson thing going on here from the 1990s or 1980s. That's what I'm trying to kill. Let's see, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. All right, it's before, so far it's before the recommended 15 minutes. It's about maybe three to four minutes in. But I'm already seeing a little bit of, you see how the, the paint is starting to dissolve there? I just want to see what's going on here. You know what? No, you know what? I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to show you guys how it's starting to bubble right before your eyes. Look at that, look at that. This stuff really works, dude. All right. The test here, people, like I said, is to see if it does not hurt the gel coat. That's the most important thing here. I don't care about this paint. I'm trying to avoid major, major restoration work and, and time and work and effort and Money, money, mo money. All right, let me shut up a little bit. Let's do a time lapse. Let's fast forward a little bit while we still have this on here. Let's see, look, I'm, I'm getting my nail. See that? That's the edge. So it's hard. It's not like a, a vinyl stick or nothing like that. This is paint, people. So this is why, oh my God, it looks so nasty. I mean, literally, bro. My God, what were people in the 90s? What were our parents thinking back in the days? I mean, these people were really on LSD or something. What's wrong with these people? Look at this color, man. Look at this. <sighs> I don't know. I'm here waiting, people. I'm bored. So I'm just going to talk to you on camera because I'm just as bored as you. And to get your attention is to get, you know, to get your attention. It's pretty difficult nowadays, especially when you got people actually doing real stuff. All right, we got about nine minutes, 10 minutes in, and uh, it's starting to it's starting to go ahead and remove some of that paint. It's about nine, 10 minutes in. Um, I haven't used any brushes or anything like that, but remember on the other boat, I just tried to brush and it didn't really hurt it much. And even if it does a little bit, I can always sand it down. But it didn't seem to hurt it on the test boat. So let's 
Let's get the little brush on here in about another five minutes and see what happens. Okay, guys, it's about that time if we find out. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead with the other hand, all right? Since I'm right-handed. All right, so let's see what happens. We got the brush, all right? We got the brush, wire brush. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This thing might work. Oh, my God, this thing might work, people. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, it is a little this brush is a little aggressive on the on the gel coat okay I'm not doing it really hard but let's see what it does all right let's get some let's get some acetone and clean it up all right all right so we have some acetone that we just put it right here for, straight from the Alright. Let's make some mess though. Oh my god, let's make some mess. Okay. Alright, so two things. This alright. Two things. I would say that the wire brush is probably a little bit too aggressive. So I'm not gonna use that again. Cause then that means I have to sand all this stuff and it makes more work for me. So I have to find another way or another thing to do. Let's see what we can figure out. All right, so now that I, you know, I had to put the phone down, sorry guys. I, but I, basically what I did is just got the acetone, you know, with both hands obviously, I can get a little bit of elbow grease in there. And uh, this is where I'm at right now. So, so remember, my goal is to try to remove all this paint here from this, all that area to see if it makes sense without hurting the gel coat, okay? Just trying to restore the gel coat with, with, by, with also removing all this paint here. So I don't go real aggressive, I'm using a 220 grit and let's see what happens here. Will this work, people? Will this work? No. No, don't tell me this is going to work. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wow. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Ladies and germs. All right, I put a little bit more acetone here, okay? Just to kind of like clean up. Use a little bit of water. All right. So we're in like Flynn. Um, actually, anybody in the news, Flynn is probably not in anymore. He's probably in a bad one, but I don't know. Whatever. All right. So, guys, look. You see this tinting right here? That's the only thing that stayed on there, right? Um, I don't know. Let's see if with actual polishing... It removes this, like uh, this area right here. See that staining? That obviously does not look good. But the blue is completely gone. Now I can go a little bit more aggressive with the sandpaper. But before I go aggressive, I'm just going to hit it up with 220 again. That's what I was using, 220. I, I, I always like to go a little higher until, but since I scratch it a little bit, I want a little bit deeper. Normally I'll go higher. See what can get done, and then I'll just go lower if it, it doesn't work. All right, guys. So I'm using this uh, PMC Complete uh, Compound by uh, Pesta. Uh, Pre I'm sorry, Presta. If you guys haven't seen the video, I have recently done a video. Let me open this, this bar, the bottle up. It wasn't open. I had recently done a video. Um, what is a video? Oh, it's, it's, it's basically me polishing a, a fiberglass console on a Nautica boat. I'll try to see if I put a link up above. If not, just go to my video list. 
Um, see, my, my concern right now is this, this yellowing that's here. See that? I want to see if that comes out without me going even more aggressive sanding. So I want to, I want to work faster, not harder. I and mean, I'd rather work smarter instead of harder. So let's see if this stuff works. Let me put the machine on it. Um, also, I'm going to use the, the Rup, uh, Rupez uh, with a green pad. It's actually blue because of this blue stuff that I had done on another area. But I got some new pads ordered. Let's see what it does here. I can't, I can't put the camera here guys, basically I'm going to use this at 1000 uh, RPM, mix it in there real good, and let's see what happens, alright? Alright guys, so you're seeing already, a, you know, because I polish it, you're already starting to see you know some gloss and stuff like that but um, I think I, I just hit it with 220 I'm not doing the whole procedure that I normally do so it'll be much better when I do that and I, I think I'm gonna have to go that route oh great and now it's raining great absolutely great wonderful thank you Miami thank you the artist better known as Picasso Alfredito Jose Montaner Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well ladies and gentlemen, when I go ahead and like to paint, I know I have that weird talk, because that's what all art artists do is, this right here resembles a mountain. And you're getting, <laughs> you're getting sleepy. <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, there was a guy always making uh, pictures of mountains, and it would always put me to sleep. It was like, <laughs> it was like a drink, drinking like warm chocolate milk. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm coming up here. I'm just putting it directly on this, okay? I'm using a brush. I'm so sorry, guys. I get I get so bored doing this by myself. You know, it's Sunday. I'm trying to trying to get ahead of this project. There's a lot going on, <laughs> but um, I'm, I got a little bit thicker sandpaper, not the one that I normally use from from like marine stuff. But I just want to get it so I can see if it's gonna work, okay? So here we go. The next step. All right. I'm also gonna do a little bit of this gray area to see what we can do. Damn mosquitoes, man! Let me tell you, they always get me. I got my gloves on, so so you guys don't have to worry. I'll be around here till another day. All right. So so here's the area. This little area right here. We'll do a kind of straight line up here like this. All right. All right, guys. So. Let's let this bad boy work now, um, and we'll see what happens in a little bit. Uh, and we're gonna go a little deeper this time, see if we can get this all off. And this gray, so I'm sorry, silver section. We gotta see what happens here, because this is also very important. Because look at all that, you know, it's a lot. All right, ladies and germs. Um, I'm sorry, gentlemen. Um, listen, it's actually removing it again, all right? But this time I'm leaving it longer to see what happens without using the wire brush. I'm going to use, instead of a wire brush, I'm just going to use a scraper so I can slowly scrape it off. Let's see what it does without, oh, that's not, I'm not liking that either. Just got to be very careful. Very, very careful. All right, so it's working. It's working. Let me put, let me put this down. Let me use my cup to start cleaning up, um, and start start beginning the process. I, I need my other hand, guys. But you guys are getting the gist of what's going on. Okay, relax. If you want to see the whole episode, you got to be my friend. All right. And until then, you can't see everything. But you are my friend. Just a fake friend. We don't really know each other. Down a little bit. Let's wipe it down. Wipe it down. Wipe it down. All right. Oof. All right.
right, ladies and germs, I'm, I mean gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Okay, it's drying up. So here's what I did while I had the camera down, because I need to work. I can't, I can't be, you know, using one hand for everything. I did uh, 120, grit, 220, 400, 600, and 1,000. All right? And that's where I'm at right here. If you look here, one of the things that I wanted to see real good is this little lip right here with the silver because the majority of this boat is with that silver it's blue and red the red is is leaving that yellow staining line it's still there you're not gonna see it when it's further out okay but when you look forward you're like really really close you're gonna see that staining and I don't want to go too aggressive with the gel coat because I might start hitting fiberglass I don't want that so so I mean it's an option I'm here trying to give options to the customer that's that's primarily what I'm trying to do because it's pretty expensive to go ahead and paint this boat so we're trying to figure out where we can make the biggest impact for the least amount of money on this boat okay that's the goal here biggest impact least amount of money without sacrificing too too much quality all right this is definitely very difficult very time consuming and I think the biggest expense here would be that paint remover because you're gonna need a considerable amount of it to, to get it to get it done you know if you had a smaller boat but this is a big boat this part and the blue part down in the bottom this whole blue side we're not gonna worry about that because um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap that um, or we can consider painting that side you know this could be painted here and then we can leave this you know nice white gel coat Options people, options. I like giving my customers options when I start doing all these restorations. This is much bigger than I normally like to do. Um, and I like to I like to stay focused on, on inflatable ribs. That's my gig. If you guys haven't seen any of that, my, my inflatable rib channel is pretty cool. You get to see a lot of restorations that I've done a lot of that stuff. So let's see what happens now guys. Let's polish this out a little bit. It's on here. Let's check and see what we can do. Let's see what happens. Alright guys, come here, let's let's check this out. Let's check this out real quick. Come on. Let's check this out. So you guys can see. Alright. There's a lot of uh shadows because of the trees, but Alright guys, so as you guys see, it's pretty much safe to say that it could work, okay? It did it, it removed it, it just polished it. That staining is still slightly there, but honestly, for the amount of money you're gonna save, I think it might be worth it. All right, what do you guys think? Leave a comment below. I tried these chemicals so you guys can try them too. Always remember, have a test dummy area. Do an area that can't damage your boat before you start doing any of this extensive, elaborate restoration, okay? I don't want somebody to comment, Oh, you stupid dirtbag! I messed up my more 1476 whaler that I can never restore again. All right? I don't want to hear none of that, all right? And uh, if you have nothing nice to say, then don't say it at all. All right? I'm out of here. Thanks a lot. Hey, like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye. A little angle. Another little angle from the bottom. Like if you're coming on, you're walking onto the boat. And oh, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Now, if you look real, real close, you might see the yellowing. But people, if you're fixing a used boat, you can't expect to have a new boat. If you want a new boat, go ahead and spend $300,000 on a new boat. I'm trying to teach you and show you that you can spend 15000 and make a ugly boat, you know, an $80,000 boat. You know what I'm saying? But you got to put a lot of work into it, a lot of effort. 
and it'll happen. See that? That's that's a big difference, people. Wait, wait, wait. one more, one more thing before we go, before we go, so you guys can see how it's coming out. You guys can see how it's coming out. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Huh? Amazingness. That's what we do, baby. <laughs> there, okay, just to be legit, and I don't want to. I do want to show you guys that if there's less gel coat, I don't know if you guys if it translates right there. You see that right there? That is a risk that you can have. So obviously, right here, there's more gel coat than there is here because I did the same process and same procedure. The difference is there wasn't enough gel coat, and it's already going to the glass. Okay. Like here, this is an area where it's expected to be less also, okay? So, I mean, after the fact, I'm going to have to figure that out and, and fix that. But, I mean, think about it, guys. Look at this. I'm going to have everything looking like this. White, nice, clean. What do you guys think? Tell me what you guys think. Put a comment down below. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this restoration we got going on.